Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2012 Ford Expedition Limited and I will show you which fuses to check in case your power sunroof is not working. This video will apply to Ford Expeditions made from 2009 all the way up to 2014. First fuse you want to check will be located in the main fuse box under the front hood which is very easy accessible. It's right here. Now to leave the cover you will have two black tabs, one on this side, one on the opposite side. So you want to press onto each of them and leave the cover up. On the back side of the cover you will have a small fuse diagram. And the fuse you want to check here, it's a fuse number 64, which is at the bottom left corner. It's a 30 amp fuse responsible for power to the power moonroof, sunroof. You will have two more fuses to check in the secondary fuse box, which is in the passenger cabin, just next to the passenger's right foot. To access it, first you have to remove this plastic cover. You can do that just by pulling it towards yourself. Now you will get access to the actual fuse box cover. On top of this cover, as you can see, you have like a small fuse diagram, which you can also use to locate any of the fuses. To remove the cover you will have two black tabs, one on this side, one on the opposite side. You want to press the tabs together and leave the cover up. On the back side of the cover there is a small fuse puller which you can use to pull and, rem and check any of the fuses. In this fuse box you want to check fuse number 41 which is uh, 15 amp blue fuse located right here and you want to check the 30 amp circuit breaker which is responsible for power moonroof and power windows as well so these two things and that's pretty much everything hopefully one of these fuses will be burnt out and just by replacing it that will fix your problem if not you'll have to do a bit deeper diagnostics and start looking towards the uh, power sunroof, uh, switch, wiring and the motor. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.